Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Stellar Initiative, a tower defense roguelike that I'm excited to be checking out the demo for here today. Looks quite neat. So in, we're going to go to see what it's all about. Got a couple difficulty levels not available in the demo. Complete on officer, but that apparently is in the demo. Okay, we'll go for this one then. Sure thing. In we go. From the Steam... And, and from this right here. From the Steam store page, visually, I was getting a lot of Domekeeper influence. Mechanically, it looks to be quite different. Aside from the fact that you are defending a thing. As, you know, much as that goes. Welcome back, Captain. My protocol requires me to clarify the instructions. We're expecting a local hostile life form coming in waves from the right. Your goal is to protect the station until mission objective is complete. To do that, you've been granted access to the delivery interface. Let's start with the base turret. It's cheap and can hold back early waves. Okay. Interesting. So we can build anywhere in here. I see we have a wall. Do we want to, like, have enough space for it or what? Buildings are, are limited by station signal range, but they will extend it when placed. Gotcha. Placing buildings on top of the other will destroy it, so use it to your advantage to replace ones that were damaged. Uh, okay. Oh, it's, it's being delivered. Gotcha, gotcha. Delivery queue. Displays current orders and their delivery time. Lost when it does not get restored. If it goes to zero, the game ends. Current progress towards completing the mission goals. Well, hello there, buddy. Got a wall. Generator. Your orders will take time to be delivered, so do plan ahead. I mean, okay, let's get a wall then. Got rocket launcher. Fires rockets at high range. Can hit flying enemies. Knock back enemies. Deal area damage. Ship effects. Gain energy. 10 energy to gain 30 energy. Oh, but it takes 20 seconds. Gotcha. So this is like your... This is an econ button, basically. Deal damage to all enemies. To, I'm reading here. Your station will deal counter damage, so a couple of enemies passing your defense will not destroy it. However, station health is not restored after mission, so do try and avoid it. So this does two damage. This does how much? One. Two damage to all enemies after 10 seconds. Or 20 damage in a blast radius of 0.3. Okay. Uh, let's get a mortar. Is that um, a minimum range? Or what? Are you going to hold? I think it will. Tell you what, let's. Uh, this is for this is for science. It looks like we're on like a tutorial mission or a first mission. You can see the incoming waves in the bottom right corner, so you can prepare accordingly. That's it with the instructions, Captain. Good luck. Honestly, love the short and sweet tutorial there. But yeah, for for science, we'll put down this mortar and then the other, so we can see what happens. Yeah, we have a speed up here. Press to speed up time. Or we can hold it. This is... Oh, that just puts that away. So I don't think there's a pause, though. It's a big lad. Oh, you can't... Okay, you can't cancel. Cannot cancel while it's... I was going to say, is there like a... Like a no? Like a never mind button? Alright, I'm watching you. Oh, you can click it to see the... Oh, that's nice. So yeah, this makes sense. It's a minimum range. Okay, that makes sense. I think that this might be the last guy, though. So it doesn't even matter. This is technically incredibly efficient. Mission complete. Oh, we don't even need to kill the guy. We just need to live. Oh, okay. Alright. I dig it. Subsidy. Reduce supplies, cost, and energy gain. Of what? Of our ability that does it? Increase wave generator force. Enemies breaking a shield is stunned and takes damage. Zero cost, but it gives you 20. I mean, it's, it's the same thing, but you can do it whenever. I 
I don't think I have any shield things. Sure, I'll get the subsidy, I suppose. We have upgrades over here, I see. Uh, this was the other thing I saw that reminded me of a Dome Keeper. Obviously, not because it's a, I know there's other games with talent trees, but this I don't believe this is a meta uh, progress thing. I think this is an in-run talent tree where we're going to like pick a couple upgrades for each building or function that we want. Like we've got a wave generator, we got a turret, we can go for advanced turret, unlock an uh, an upgrade, upgrade energy cost. So this is like something we can then do in the run or in the mission or whatever. We'll block off the other path. Yeah, okay. So we can go either get both of these or these. This is a range up, double the turret's health and delivery. I don't really care about that. I mean, the delivery time is nice, but the health, I don't care too much. Machine gun, attack speed up. The range up seems really nice. And damage up. Okay, yeah. I mean, I think that seems more logical. Got a fortified wall, double the health of the wall. I'll tell you what. I think that it's pretty clear, yeah, that with the cost of these, that they're saying, hey, I mean, you should probably get these. You don't have to, but you should probably get these. These are nice basic upgrades. One and one. Got a map. Shield module. Gives invincibility to ten first buildings. Wait. Is it invincibility or invisibility? Because it actually says both on the same tooltip. I I don't know what that means. Clearly, it's not, like, full invincibility, because otherwise... I, I'll go for it. It's not going to be full invincibility, and I don't think I'm going to have it yet. Oh, I don't think that's far enough away. So, yeah, this costs zero, but it still takes 20 seconds. This is supplies. I think we can uh oh uh oh it made it through that was okay honestly that it that ends up being really optimal this is an econ play I don't know if we should go for fast mortar we know that this is that how do we upgrade okay gotcha We really need this wall not to fall, then. So the upgrades don't take any uh, anything from, like, an upgrade queue. Right? Doesn't seem like it. This has a range of four. Okay. I'm tr trusting you, Wall. I'm trusting you. So this can actually be closer as well, right? Oh, this they have hotkeys. Guess when do I do this? Get space here. Okay, we're actually almost done there. This can't even... You can't put down another one. I mean, this should be enough, though, right? What? Delivery duration? Huh. Interesting. Is there anybody left? Huh. I have a sneaking suspicion. We can press the, uh, the fast-forward mode. We can get rid of the econ thing at this point. If anything, we should maybe make a new wall. But everything if everything does its job, we don't need a new one. Ooh, yeah, we wouldn't need a new one. Cool. I think that's it. Right? Yeah? 
Okay. Shield module. Invincibility. Nine seconds of... I'm guessing nine seconds of invincibility is what I would assume. I don't think there's anything for one coin, is there? There's one diamond. Okay. Huh? Harder mission, but better rewards. Extend your base to speed up research. Buildings deal area damage when destroyed. Increase wall health if placed next to another wall. Um, could that be something? We would need range up. That could be something, though. High risk, high reward mission. Set up defense and then start mining. Mine as many resources as you can until the time runs out. Harder mission, but better rewards. Extend your base to speed up research. Okay, I gotta know. I gotta know. Are they actually... Place a drill on top to start mining. So this is going to be invisible. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, excuse me, I placed it right away. Ah! Uh, what? Okay, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Place it down, okay. That wall's not gonna get there in time. Is it? It is, thank God. We're going to need, like, a mortar or something first, right? Like, we need to set up our... Oh, that's actually... This is the call. Setting those up then. Uh, drill. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Smart idea. Uh, let's get a mortar now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The greed. Dug too greedily and too deep. Well, I, honestly, this can probably live on its own. Yeah. New wall. I don't know if that can go in time. Okay, so that's almost done. Interesting. Is this enough on its own? It should be enough. This thing is banging. Invincibility. Oh, 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 that's an interesting little tidbit. If you upgrade it, it loses its, it, it loses, it, it loses its invincibility. Our engineering team eagerly awaits your directive for the next project. Here's the proposed options. Need a random uncommon or rare artifact. Install upgrades for random building up to tier three. Get all three artifacts the next time you need to choose one? Huh? Four gold? Oh, we didn't get the diamond. I mean, let's get the rifle barrel. Doubling the range of the turret means we can actually have two behind a wall. This is legit. This is actually legit. Defend in quick, brutal mission. Okay, well, first of all, what do we do with diamonds? Do I know what I want with diamonds? Energy barrier? Unlocks upgrading to energy wall that will restore automatically after being destroyed. Oh, interesting. Interesting. 
the health goes down. This I feel like this would be really good with the um the health increase for the two by each other. Just pop down this sucker. Put them right by each other. Width goes down with it. Wow, that's really cool. Critical chance of 20%. The wall gets thinner. I mean, honestly, very cool. So, I think I'm just looking for lots of coins. Another mining. Well, I kind of want to check out another one. Gain energy from enemies killed by mortars. Ooh. Oh. It's hard to say no to that. When a building should get destroyed, it will survive with one health and gain a shield. I can't deny, like, just this, just five bucks is good. This is good too, but I don't know. We, we have our upgrades on our turret right now. Go, 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 go. We need to build that immediately. I wish that there was enough time always for you to... It seems like there should always be enough time for your turret to be placed down properly. I am assuming you can take this by yourself. Yes, but it's actually oddly close. This feels kind of nice. Because this doesn't take any upgrade time. So yeah, this always has the range up, huh? So we could do something like that. Abusing the fact that, yeah, it doesn't and take the slot. Or, wait. I don't think we can go through another wall. Hmm. Okay, we do that. We pop down the mortar. Interesting. I wonder if another mortar behind that would work. I'll probably leave fast forward on if I'm going to be real. Now that we got the double trouble. Laser. What's your deal? Much stronger version of a tank. For science. Still takes a lot of time there. Interesting. Wave generator knocks back. I feel like we don't want knockback with the, the kind of setup we're doing. We're just going to knock him out of the range of my thing that I care about. <laughs> I mean, is there anything else coming? Yes, there is. Hello there, mister. Welcome to hell. Probably get another wall. Even if this one... Even if this one holds right now, it won't, eventually. In theory. Yeah, that seems like a really smart, like, wombo combo. Oh we're, oh, we're just done anyways. Alright. Yeah, we're done. Just fast forward until we're done. We killed it too quick. We get all of them. First turret shot at enemies, a guaranteed crit. When you upgrade the station, another random building is upgraded for free. Station generates more energy for each upgrade tier. I mean, we get all of them, but just in case that doesn't work as it thinks. Things like this usually are game breaky. Oh, that's even better. You get to choose if you want them or not. 
That's so good. Uh, eight bucks. When you upgrade your station, I ran. Okay, I I don't. I don't know what that costs. The top of my dome. Upgrade this for an advanced fuel generator. Mortar reload duration down by a whole bunch. That's possibly worth it. Disintegrator damage up. Mortar's now flying. This is rocket. No, it's wave generator. Where's the rocket? Reload duration down. Range up. More rockets, less range. I mean, the guaranteed, we have the guaranteed crit thing. I feel like now more than ever, we really want to go for that. But getting this and possibly getting that Bastion upgrade for free is super appealing. So we'll, we'll go for that. Look for something with hopefully like six bucks. Seven. Harder mission, better rewards. Prepare, set up defenses early. Hmm. A quick and brutal mission with less waves, but shorter setup. I'm in. Go, 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 go. Okay. You can click that. Get ready, get ready. You're not kidding about the quick and brutal. Please. Thank you. Ooh, that initial crit. Kind of nuts with it. Forty for the next, huh? Delivery duration down. Eighty. This is this is strats right here. 150. So that, so that's up to max already, you know, you see? It's kind of silly. Oh, but we can't upgrade anything else again. So now we got to This is stupid. I love it. I've ruined it already. It's not that cost effective at that point, but still. Uh, no, we, we go for the rocket launcher first. Hotkey four. Oh, we got flying enemies. Can the turrets hit flyers? I mean, irrelevant. This only takes eight seconds at this point. Yeah, this is busted. We need more things that can be upgraded. The more expensive the cost for the stuff, the better. This is dumb what I've done. I, I, I knew it. I knew it could be game breaky, but dang, man. That's so good. But now we can get the uh, the turret upgrade. Actually, that's so good. That's so good. We'll get the turret upgrade because how much does this cost? 30? Even, yeah, even better. So cost effective. It's disgusting. Buildings restore full health and gain a shield when upgraded. Maybe. Increased ship rocket blast radius, but it also will damage your buildings. What? Five bucks and a diamond. This could be good, but... I don't know. Harder mission, but better rewards. Extend your base to speed up research. Research anomaly by reaching it with the building signal. Ooh, that's a little bit not our jam, I guess. Hmm. 
we are better at this kind of a thing. We also want more research. So we can get more level ups. Alright, let's see what it's about. Okay, first of all, go, 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 go. The closer your signal is, the faster the research speed. Gotcha. I think we set up our, our business first. Get down there, buddy. Okay, I trust. Okay, we got the turret upgrade first. I mean, the upgrade in full health heal could obviously be very good. Okay, pop that. Was it 80 for this one? Not bad. 150. It gets expensive, obviously. So I kind of want to push further. It's hard to be mad at this, though. Hmm. It's going to take a while at this rate, though. We, we do need to extend out a little bit further. Oh, God, we can upgrade it so fast. We should put down a generator, I suppose? We could upgrade this wall if we feel like I need to. Just trying to push out further and further. Oh, 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 oh. That ain't good. That ain't good. Please tell me he has low health. Okay. Does have low health. That helps. Oh no. Uh oh. I, I, I dug too greedily and too deep. Okay. Just build a freaking wall. Okay. Just set up a really good freaking base here. Don't know what even happened there. If we got nothing else going, we need to be doing these. I think this is just close enough. Those are bombs, I guess? Yeah, this is just good enough. There's <laughs> no point. Endless wave coming. Okay. Ooh, okay. There was an endless wave coming there. Yikes. Uh, six and one. Saving up for the thorns is interesting. Counter and armor damage. Alternatively, um, getting an upgrade for the rockets. Energy cost 20 is pretty appealing. Range goes down. At the same time, 20% crit chance in the 300 crit damage, I think it's too good. 
Research. I don't think we like that. I don't, I don't think that's good for us. Or wait, is this the one? Development. Harder mission, but better rewards. Set up a good economy. We're really good. Turrets and mortars deal counter damage. I don't care about that upgrade, though. Adaptive polymers give all buildings the ability to block damage. Defense. We, wait, we do. We want two diamonds. <sighs> we can get two diamonds here. Sure. Okay. We got to set up the diamonds. Oh, no. That's so much further than I would have wanted. So much further than I would have wanted. Ah. Gonna be a little tight. I do think this makes so much sense, though. Do we wait to do the other one? Because it doesn't retroactively change the time. Yeah, it doesn't change it once it's in the queue. We're setting this up pretty freaking tight. Do we go for the one freaking 50 at this point? Upgrade to heavy turret. It, do it becomes less and less cost effective over the course of time, but getting like a really good base foundation is really helpful. Oops. Okay. So that's that's max upgrade. Okay. So I've already here's the thing. Na yeah, no, it was a mistake. Not the right plan. That doesn't push it forward very far. Oh, that's not gonna work either. All right. Uh-oh. He made it behind there. That sucks. RIP drill, maybe? Yeah, it was, it was a bold call. It was a bold call. No, we want to build... Ah! There. Okay, good. Please. I trust. Okay. I trust, I trust. necessarily do anything else about that. We could just prepare the walls more at this point. Oh, what? I can't build. Yeah, we got one of the diamonds. Not bad. Bop, 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 bop. 64. I don't think we're getting the second diamond. We're not getting the second diamond. We are getting... We got a pretty good amount of this. Uh, I tried. I tried to push. It was a little tight. You cannot order walls, get three random artifacts. Station generates... Twice as much energy when you have at least 15. Um, starting build distance. That seems good. Uh, I have the invincibility right away. Well, but 
part of the issue is that the first thing you put it kind of doesn't matter in a way because they will run past it This feels like a win more item in a way, but also like we have a pretty stupid boss. Final challenge before moving forward. Gain a new building or ship effect. Extremely cool. Wait, what? Didn't know that was going to be a thing. So we just need to live. So we'll get our setup going first. Door cheese. Um, hello? Faster, faster! Oh. We do the one. Okay, good. Thank you for the crit. It's 40 for this one. We gotta, we gotta do a little, little wait there. Okay, what is it? It's eighty for the next one. It starts to get like a little bit less cost effective, but we definitely have done a little, a little breaking. That's a treat. I'm just sad we can't get to the next, uh, the next upgrade. You know. Probably put down another turret at this point. Should get to a... I think we put a rocket here and then a mortar... Here. That was not very cost effective. And then the mortar is limited again and then we go back to rocket. Wait. Yeah. It's capped. Yeah. Rockets. We're also protected from aerials at this point by doing that. Our big boy wall. Okay. Nice. Just get a whole bunch of this and then we'll like fire an unbelievable amount of rockets. This cause yeah, this goes down to four seconds every four seconds. I mean I don't really know what to I don't know what to do with my money at this point. Set up a whole nother freaking at this point. Stupid. Not gonna work. They're gonna make it through in time, obviously. Unless... Unless they won't. I thought we had invincibility right away. Oh, it's only on the first batch. Yeah. I mean, what else am I going to do with all my money at this point? Nope. Nope, I hate that sound. Interesting. Okay, that's kind of fun. All right, so we do, then we do rocket launcher, and then we do, uh, where is it? Mortar. And then we go rocket launcher. And then we go rocket launcher. And then we go, oh boy. Um. the hockey for that? <laughs> he 
so why is he so freaking loud, man? Why don't you step towards my turret, nerd? Oh, that's why. I think this is supposed to be a, a problem. He's so loud. They're not aiming at the right spot anymore because of the huge delay. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. I didn't expect this. Charges all buildings standing next to each other. Enemy attacking any of these buildings releases the charge, taking massive damage. Summon a war robot equipped with a minigun. I mean, if it could... Speed? health it's just like a unit i mean yes damage all enemies i mean i don't think i get a play with this stuff unfortunately demo completed uh discover new artifacts to unlock new starting bonuses the full game will have over 100 plus artifacts twice the amount of missions that's cool more unique enemies more mission special effects New buildings and ship effects, different bosses, harder difficulties and challenges. Uh, this game is fantastic. This game is absolutely fantastic. It, what the hell? It came out of nowhere. It's just so good. Huh? I really like it. I mean, yeah, my issues with it are what? Uh, the sound effects aren't balanced correctly. Okay. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, should be should be fixed up, but it's not that big of a deal. Some of the font, I mean, I, I feel like it's really good and uh legible some of the font in game felt a little bit out of place um let's see what else let me think about what i i don't know it's hard to think about what i would uh, um improve yeah it's hard to think about what i'd improve i i think that um it's nailing what it's trying to do very very well i think that um because the critique I would have would be like the amount of foresight you need to have with like the, the choice, the delay between I want to buy a turret, you place a turret and the turret showing up normally is quite, quite high. But that's also like, yeah, that's the game. There might be some, I don't know, maybe some kind of clarity with when it's coming like quicker with the, in something in the tutorial maybe be helpful maybe letting the player know they can upgrade their base in the tutorial i figured it out but like that was not in the tutorial um yeah that's i don't know not too much not too much to say that i would improve uh and the only thing i would say would be like i hope like it just it's and it's a demo and this is so fantastic this is where i'm at it's like i hope to see when it's out that there's lots of, you know, replayability. Like, I just hope this gets wider. I don't need this to get deeper. I hope it gets wider. It's already it's already pretty deep. And seeing what I saw at the end of the thing where you got to choose a new tower, or it said possibly a power, like, that's already really cool because that's going to come with its own entire upgrade tree as well, presumably. So that's so much depth in terms of, like, well, you might pick that. My, okay, here's here's my potential concern or critique runs might end up being crazy long if they're all the like if there's multiple zones that are all that long runs are going to be too long that is that's something uh but i'd imagine that the zones are going to get chopped down as it gets expanded and that would also help the second issue that i would bring up these are presumed future issues and not issues i have right now um you could also have make a case in point that okay are the runs going to feel too close together because the amount of time until you get a new tower or a new power is too high. You know, like, if to wait until you beat that first boss. If it's 40 minutes until you get your first tower every time, that's going to be a problem for, for run sameness. So I think that could be solved in a couple ways. A, being able to choose, draft out one choice right away. I think that'd be helpful. Maybe you, you have to lose some kind of power in some other way. Drafting out a choice right away for run variety. And also, if the zones end up being shorter when more get added, and the run length is still around 45, 50 minutes, which I do think is the sweet spot for roguelikes right now, uh, then you would finish the boss and the zone earlier and thus get a choice quicker. So honestly, that would be a win-win. It would solve both problems. Uh, 
But alas, alas, that's that. This can do it for today. Seller Initiative demos out now on Steam. I highly recommend it. It takes inspiration from Domekeeper without being like, hi, I'm a copy of Domekeeper. And massive, massive respect for that. Really appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel, Roguelikes, and more every single day. And I will see you next time. Bye.